Yeah, la. Or, or la. Good. Where does la go? At the end. Good. Say, I'm going there. Je, 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 je vais là. Good. So, say for me, I see Luke. Je, je vois Luke. Where does Luke go at the end? At. If you said, I see him, him is a replacement word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And where is the replacement word going? It goes before... So basically, it becomes a relationship. Yeah? It becomes the relationship thing. Give me, I see him. I'm him too. Je le vois. Good. So you've got to think of E. It's just the same. It's just another one of your replacement words. A pronoun is a replacement word. It's replacing the noun. Okay? So if we had Sophie a passé un an à Paris, Sophie has spent a year in Paris, the there is the replacement for in Paris. So where do replacements go? They go in the relationship pile. Where do the relationship piles happen? They go all at the beginning. So Sophie is also about to be replaced. So we're going to swap the word Sophie. What could we swap Sophie for? We could swap it for, yeah, for her, yeah, or she, yeah. Sophie, there, spent a year. You're gonna. It's just going to be exactly the same as your relationships. So give me so. Give me she. L. Give me there. I. Now give me has spent. A. Passé. Passé. Oh no. Now let's say I said. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to go there. So give me. I'm going. Je vais. Give me, I'm going there, using the la, the la version. Je vais. Je vais là. I'm going there, using the replacement version. I need the re relationship. So, what's who? J'y vais. Good. Now give me, I'm going to go there. Do I have a two form? Yeah. So what happens with the two form? Then large. Yeah. Little than large. And what does that mean? It means you get the first verb out of the way. So give me, I'm going. Je, Je vais. Go there. Il a. Oh, oh, e, e, e. Second verb in the infinitive, e, I'm going to go there. Je vais y aller. Spot on! Say it again to yourself. Je vais y aller. Good. So basically, in short, where does the e go? The e, letter y, goes straight after the, the person doing the verb because it's in our relationship pile. Okay? So, est-ce qu'ils assisteront à la réunion? Yeah? Est-ce qu'ils assisteront à la réunion? Who's doing the sentence? Who's doing the verb? Is it that they will attend? Assist they okay. can attend. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's a shitty verb because people always think it means um, to assist. It doesn't just, it means to attend. Assist they a mariage, okay? To attend a marriage. So, give me the verb they. The word they. Is, il. Il, good, unless we know what's coming next, good. So give me the relationship, they, there. Il, i. Good, il, i. The verb is assister, give me will attend. Il, zi, assister. Assister, Lovely, okay, great. So basically the rest would all be the same. This is about to show you the one I've just shown you. So you've got here, tu aimerais habiter en Espagne. You would like to live in Spain. What has that sentence got? You would like to live. What has it got in that long sentence? Form. A long form. So what does long form tell us? It tells us little, little form, long form. So what does little form, long form tell us? It means get verb number one out of the way. So give me, you would like to live? Uh, tu aimerais? Tu, tu, you would like. Tu aimerais? Lovely. Live there. I Second verb? Habite. Spot on. Spot on. So the point is, this is going to happen. Now let's do some in the past. Okay, let's take this and make it better. I went. Je vais. I je, went. Je suis allé. Great. Je suis an allé. So, I is the person doing the verb. If I wanted a relationship, I went there. So, yeah, je suis allé là, fine. I went there. There is part of the relationship. It's I there have gone. So, how would I do that one? Je suis allé. Spot on. So that's all it is. That is all it is. And if you ever, ever mess this up in your own mind, you know the answer to this, because how do you say there is? Il y a. Where does E come? After the thing. So try not to think, a lot of people try and teach it, oh, it goes before the verb. Forget that, because in your mind you just got the relationship stuff. Good. Um, now, this is a really useful idea for this, okay? And I've talked about this before. There's two types of pensée. There's think of something as in a, an opinion, yeah? Or this, oh, I was thinking about you earlier. Oh, I saw another girl with green eyes. I thought about feet. 
and that's pensez à. Okay? So you're sending me a text, oh hi Luke, just thinking of you, I heard you were poorly. You're not, hmm, how do I solve a problem like Luke? <laughs> yeah? So ask the question, what do you, so big cognitive thinking now, different. So ask me, what is it you think? Qu'est-ce que, qu -ce que you think tu, tu penses of de the situation in Syria? La situation. En Syrie, okay? What do you of it think? What's my of it word? Oh. Lovely, that's of it, from it, scoop, yeah? So ask me, what is it you of it think? So you think, I need the you, the relationship think. So give me the word for you. Do. Give me the relationship of it. Oh. Think. Pense. Lovely. So again, there's these other words. You've become obsessed, as everybody has, that the pronouns are going to be mentor, But there's also e and there's also on. Okay? They go in exactly the same places you have learnt everything else. Okay? So ask me, what do you think of it? Qu'est-ce que, que tu penses? Uh, I need the relationship. Qu'est-ce que tu? Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Great. Okay. I think about Luke. Not a big cognitive, what am I going to do about Luke? Luke's just coming into my mind and going out. Is that going to be penser à or penser de? Which one? For just coming penser in. Penser à. Good. Think about this. De is a shorter word. À is a short word. Um, à is a shorter word. Penser de, de is a longer word. So give me, I think about, send, send me a text. I'm thinking about you. Je pense. Je pense à toi. Lovely. So I think, so à somewhere, okay? Is, so people always think E has got to do with verbs to do with moving around the place, like j'y vais or whatever. Okay, but no. So I'm, th I'm thinking about it. In French you said I think to it. So I think there. So give me I'm thinking there. J give me the rest. J'y pense. Um, so, oh, did you remember, the, um, did you remember the, um, the towels if we're going swimming? I thought about it earlier. I thought to that earlier. So give me the relationship. I to it. J. 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 Have thought. A. For me. A. A. Pense. Pense. J. A. Pense. A tout à l'heure. Earlier. Whatever. So this is basically. Um, uh, so everything else you've got on here, and he's trying to introduce this gradually. We will return from there. Um, we'll go there. They're all about going verbs. They're all about movement. So this is just to remind you that this is this is. This is a really good one. Good. Give me another one. Um, what else did we do? Last week we were looking at um, movies. I think I might have handed that in. Because I'm not, uh... Okay, just translate that for me. So last week... Uh, la, la, la semaine dernière... We were looking... Nous... Now pause. Straight away, rather than... Oh, on. Lovely. So we were looking, what's my was ending? A, A, A. E, A, A. So give me, we, we were looking. Nous regardions. Nous regardions. Good. Straight away, though, on, on should represent easy for you. On regard. On regarde. Lovely, okay. We were looking at something, but. Mais. On regardait quelque chose, but. I think that. Je pense. Que. que I presented it. J'ai. Now, I presented it. Get all the ingredients involved. Before you even think of the verb, I presented it. Who's doing the verb? Me. So say, give me I. Je. I presented it. Le. So give me that first. Je le. Have presented. Je l'ai presenté. Présenté. So put that together now. Je, Je l'ai présenté. Good. So what you've got to do is you've got to stop going literally from English and you think, get all the bits involved in first, go. So je le présenterai. Je le présente. Je le présenterai. Je l'ai Je présenté. Je l'avais présenté. Do you understand? You've got to get the bits in first, okay? Yeah. Um, good, so I think I gave it as homework comme devoir. Okay, let's have a look. This is. Um, Lisez les extraits suivants d'un guide touristique parisien. Uh, uh, I think this was to do with um, action past versus. Okay, lisez la transcription et soulignez les verbes utilisés pour parler d'un événement. Et en cercle, c'est le verbe utilisé pour décrire une situation ou faire une description. Lovely. Okay, right. So we're going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to give you the English and you're going to do the French. Uh, how do I say ma, madame? Ma, madame. Madame. So, hello, sir. Uh, bonjour, uh, monsieur. monsieur. No. How do you say now? This is basically looking at the past with a passive. So... If you don't 
refer to something or you don't know something, you're going to use one in French. Now, this is really useful with the past and the, the passive. I was seen in French is one saw me. So for a start, we're transforming stuff from the was tense into the action tense. Um, uh, I was stung by a wasp would be uh, I got stung by a wasp. Yeah, je me suis fait piquer. The action. That's another thing, using fair in the, in the reflexive past. But the point is, it's rare that we use these passive wases as much um, as we, with people. We do with objects. So the house was built 10 years ago. So the verb to build is construire. So produire the past is j'ai produit. Oui. Lovely. Construire the past is const construire. It ends in a T, so what would the feminine be? If it's construite. Lovely. So give me the house was constructed. La maison était construite. Because it's an adjective. Oui. 10 years ago, there are 10 years. Il y a, a, Il y a, y a 10, 10 ans. Disons, good. Now, because you're a person, we don't tend to use this method as much. We either say, one did this crap to me, or we say, I got, and something happened. So let's quickly look at rendre and faire. We've talked about this before. If I say, he makes me happy, as you know, in French, you say, he renders me happy, because it's an adjective. So what's the soft of rendre? Wrong. So give me he. So he makes me. Give me all the ingredients first before I get to the verb. Il me rend. Le, soft, please. Le rend. Il me rend. Good. We did the relationship. Then we did the verb. Good. Okay. He. Il me rend content. He makes me speak. Is speak a verb? Yes. So we don't use rendre. We use. Fait. Faire. Love it. So he makes me. Do the ingredients first. Il me fait. Why? Second uh, verb, part, speak. A parler. And again. Il me fait parler. Great. If I made myself, if I got washed, what would that be in the past? Je me, Je me suis la, la, a, la, la. If I made myself, as weird as that sounds, what's the pa po poetry past I need? Je me suis. Je me suis. Oui, and the past of faire is je me suis. Fait. Lovely. Say that for me. Je me suis fait. And now another verb after it is the infinitive. So give me, I made myself arrested, i.e. I got arrested. The verb to arrest is to stop. Je me suis arrêté. Je me suis, je me suis fait arrêté. 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 If you said je me suis lavé, who is doing the washing? Me. If you got arrested, who is doing the arresting? Not you. So you have to make yourself get arrested. Yeah? If you said you're going to get killed, who's doing the killing? Not you, strictly. I mean, okay, it might be you doing something stupid. So this is the difference between using je me suis going straight into the verb, or je me suis fait, and then any other verb you want. So some people say, oh, I cut my hair. Je me suis coupé les cheveux. I myself cut the hair. Um, uh, some people but say... But they don't mean that they cut it themselves. No, so you could say je me suis fait couper les cheveux. I got my hair cut. So if I said I broke my leg, in French you're going to say I myself broke the leg, because who broke the leg? You, doing something. So save me, I, so the verb to break is an onomatopoeia, it's casse, which sounds like a break. Just normally, give it me normally, say I broke the bottle, j'ai... J'ai casse. Past, j'ai... J'ai casse. Family bottle, la... La bouteille. La bouteille. Okay. Think Beyonce, okay. bouteille. Yeah, okay. <laughs> bouteille, okay. Give me the word for leg, la jambe. La jambe. Lovely. Say jambe. You said it beautifully. Jambe. Does it end hard? Yes. So what's our general guess? Feminine. Okay. So give me, I myself broke. Je me suis... Je me suis tombe. Oh, je oh. me suis cassé. Je me suis cassé. The leg. La jambe. La jambe. Because you broke your leg. Now say, I got killed. Je me suis fait, je me suis fait tuer. tuer. I'm going to get myself killed. Je vais, je vais, myself, me, 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 suis, me, me fait, second verb now, tuer, tuer, stop, you're going to get arrested, arrête, you're going, tu, tu vas, yourself, make, te, te faire, faire, tuer, tuer. Yeah. so this is when you have something done to you like this, the easier version now, is if it's a single action, and there's one person doing something to you, we're going to go with on. So instead of saying I was seen, 
we say one something to me. What's that going to be? One 